Hey there, let's do some art. We're going to be doing some oil pastel studies. Studies are like going to the gym to get an art workout. You've got your drawing media, rough paper, ah, and you'll need a subject. Seriously, Lily, it's painless. What's the exercise? To build the subject entirely of stroke and color. This is a great exercise for painting. The laying on of dry media with gestures like brush strokes. Okay, let's get started. Here's a canary rockfish, Sebastes pinager. Make an outline of your subject and start populating areas with marks of the appropriate colors. The only drawing I allow myself is the outline, the same you do for a painting. The best thing about using oil pastels for this is that each mark on the paper equals one color. No mixing on a palette. This presses you to make very deliberate choices about placement. The eye will do the color mixing. Speed is also an important factor here. Not unlike the flow of a gesture drawing, an objective is to make the marks quickly and prevent yourself from fussing. I'm such a fusser with paint, so this is great therapy. Just like paint, if you apply complementary colors, like red and green, on top of each other, you get brown or mud. But if you place them right next to each other, you get great contrast. Oil pastels are lenient, as you can load two or more marks on top of each other, but careful, you might be heading into the mud. You'll notice that as I add the background, all the similar colors in the subject lose their contrast. It's something to consider when you're creating your composition. Okay, let's see that again. The end result is a high key tonal piece, an electric version of the scene. I'll take the lessons learned here to the next painting. Done with the fish, time to come up for air and hit the chicken coop. What? Henny Penny is my warrior chicken that has survived attacks from raccoons, falcons, and weasels. In this illustration, temperature is the name of the game, in the warmth of the yellow highlights and the cool of the purple shadows. Also, she displays strokes in differing directions that add dimension and texture. Don't worry if your project feels messy. These are studies to explore new things with color and application. So are you ready to try? Go for it! Leave any questions in the comments, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. It's okay to come out now, Lily. Happy creating!